This are the sins that have characterized Baringo and El Geo Maraquet counties, regions that have been battling with insecurity for weeks. The deteriorating security situation has left to loss of life, displaced dozens besides wanton destruction of property and hampering relief food distribution in the region. A wiring state of affairs that has sent political leaders from affected region call for quick intervention from the government. Let us look for the culprits, let us not miss the point and let us not politicize this. Any leader in this house today, in this house, who comes from these communities that are fighting? The Pokot, the Turgen, the Elgeo Marakwit, the Samburu. Let them go and write statements. Let them go and tell the country why this situation continues. And if they are treated with kids' gloves, believe me, we will go to a very painful election. Because already this story has now left cattle rustling. It is now about the politics of August. The Council of Governors now calling on Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet and Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri to take the lead in efforts aimed at restoring sanity in the troubled region. Through the chairperson Peter Munya, the county chiefs are also calling on President Uhuru Kenyatta to deploy more security in the affected counties and other regions facing inter-ethnic, inter-clan or any other related violence. Meanwhile, learning has been paralyzed and access to healthcare services disrupted in Trukana East sub-county due to the wave of insecurity that has hit the area. Teachers and health workers have fled the area, leaving the residents vulnerable. Area Assistant Chief Wilson Lokuruka has now been forced to take up additional roles of providing security as well as taking care of the health needs of the residents of Kamuge. The residents are now appealing to both the national and county governments to address the issue of insecurity in the area.